Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS in 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 11, which will be part 2 of the fuel systems, which will be going over air to air refueling. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. Alright, guys, so the Mirage is able to do air to air refueling with tankers that have a drogue basket. These tankers include the KC 130, KC 135, MPRS, S3B, and the IL 78. Alright, so there's no secret to being instantly good at air to air refueling in DCS. It's probably the hardest thing you can do in DCS. So it just takes a lot of reps and a lot of practice. Uh, also, when you have your controls, you want to do super small, precise inputs. If you, for example, missed a basket and you overcorrect drastically, you're going to have a bad time and probably just not want to continue doing air to air refueling. So remember, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. We're also going to talk about two more things before we get started. So the Mirage, you want to make sure your fly bar switch is on the bottom position. At least that's what I recommend. Uh, this will give you finer control movements. You can do an air, sorry, air to air mode as well. Just know if you do a smaller uh, input, it's going to be more drastic with air to air mode. Then right here, you got your refueling switch. Make sure you flip the day. If you don't, uh, if you connect to a basket, you just won't get fuel. Or sometimes you just fly through the basket. All right, that covers that. Let's actually get into it. That the day. Talk to the tanker. Tactico, one, one, in field. One, one. Request rejoin. We're also going to be paying attention to our acceleration chevrons as well. In field one, one. Tactico, one, one. Proceed to pre-contact at twenty one thousand at two seven zero. Two seventy. Okay. Should be close enough. Ready pre-contact. It's going to be off the left wing. Check. Alright, probably 277, 278. Slow it down so you don't overshoot when we hit the basket. Get my control inputs up for you. Also, you can see we're taking fuel at the bottom right. Transfer complete. Disconnect. All right, so slowly pull back into throttle, roll off to the left. Check our knee board. So we took 1,300 or 1,317 kilos. And I know that's a full tank with a center line. All right, that covers day. Next will be night. See you on that one. All right, guys, so this is nighttime portion. If you're watching this on your cell phone or your TV, it's going to appear darker on your screen than it is on my screen. It's just the way it is. I can't do anything about it. Uh, with that said, I got my, the interior lit up pretty well, so you guys can actually see stuff. Normally at night you want to fly with your interior lit up, you would fly it with a pretty dim which is not lit up at all. Uh, but for those that might be watching on TV and whatnot, we're going to have it lit up. Speaking of uh, interior lighting, let's go over the lighting switches. Alright, so this panel right here controls your interior lighting. This first dial is going to do the instrument panel. The second dial is going to do your console lights. This is going to do your caution and advisory lights, so your caution panel and like your PCA lighting. And then this dial right here is going to do your uh, floodlights up on your instrument panel. It goes from green to white. You got your MVG filter switch. So if you have your nods down and you flip the switch, all the lettering is going to turn off. All right, so how the dials work, you got the bottom turret and the top turret. Bottom turret controls the floodlight. Top turret controls the panels. Same with this one. All right, let's see if I could demonstrate that real quick. Make sure we don't run into the back of the tanker. So you got the floodlight on the instrument panel panel lighting 
same thing. PCA in your warning panel. And then the lights. Alright, let's flip it tonight or air to ground. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Left Alt L and pause. Sick, I can. Alright, so when you fly at night, you want to have your HUD brightness all the way down, even if you're using nods or without nods. It just is better for the eye and you get better uh, symbology, clarity. Alright, then right here, you have your refueling switch. So you, if you're using nods, you can use daytime and you'll be good. If you're not using nods, flip it to nighttime, you're going to get refueling probes or refueling probe lights. Alright, so first hookup we're going to do is going to be with nods on, and then we'll disconnect and do a second hookup with the refueling lights. So let's unpause, undo this, wrong one, and nods on. Turn on that refueling probe. Alright, contact tanker. Alright, so when he turns his lights on, the nods are going to get kind of flooded out. So it's not that great of a method, but you can still get it done. So that basket's going to drop right there. It's going to be kind of flooded out, but we can find it still. Alright, it should be close enough. Okay, so it's dropping. Okay, so he's going about 274. Let's back out real quick. All right, yeah, that covers the nighttime portion. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.